I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on vectors. Here is another good example on division of line segment. We'll try to prove geometrical applications using vectors. The question here is, in parallelogram ABCD, E is a point on BC that divides it in the ratio of BE is to EC as 2 is to 1. So this ratio is 2 is to 1. The diagonal B to D intersects AE at K. Calculate the ratio in which K divides AE. Right? So that is the ratio which you need to find. Let us say that the ratio is T and this is 1 minus T. So taking such variables help us since if you add them up, you get 1. Right? So it's, it's kind of better to work with such ratios. Okay. Let us see how to solve this. Now what we can do here is we can find an expression for BK. So BK where K is dividing A and E segment in the ratio of T is to 1 minus T can be written as what? So BK can be written as we are going to use the section formula, right? So which is 1 minus T and the total is 1, so divided by 1, right, times BA plus T times BE. So you clearly see the advantage of taking the sum as just 1 because it avoids all the fractions, right. So that is one thing very important. Okay. Now we have, we have BE here. We could write this BE in terms of AD since I want to write BK also as part of this diagonal. That's the whole idea. Now, BE is, if it is 2 and 3, total is 3, right? 2 plus 1 is 3. So you can say that B is 2 third of BC, right? So I can write this as 1 minus T, BA plus t times 2 third 2 over 3 of b to c right now b to c this is a parallelogram is equal to b to d so we get 1 minus t times b a minus 2 third of t times a to d we we'll call this as our equation number one. Now, let's look into the other diagonal, which is B to D. Now here, how will you represent BK? Well, let us assume this side is 1 minus S and this is S, right? In that case, we'll say again BK is equal to what? Now that side is to be multiplied with the vector which is, well, you can say B2K will be 1 minus S times B2D, right? And then we can work it out, right? Okay, so, so we can say B2K is 1 minus S times B2D. The idea is I could write B2D as sum of AB and AD, right? Which we have right here. Correct? So, so B, A and A, D. So we have same things. We get two equations and two unknowns. We could solve it, right? Okay. So now I could write this as B, D as combination of B, A and A, D. So that is 1 minus S times B to A plus A to D. So now we have two expressions, both in terms, both for BK, in terms of BA and BD. We can equate these, right? So this is our second equation. So equating these, what do we get? We have 1 minus T times BA plus 2 over 3 T AD is equal to 
1 minus s times b a plus a d. Okay. So now let's open these brackets and bring s and t together. Let's bring everything on left side and then try to solve it. So let's open the bracket. So 1 times b a is b a minus t or what we can do is we can keep b a and then this term will add to this right okay so uh, well it will cancel so it's okay so t times b a plus two third of t times a d minus when you bring this here minus b a this becomes positive s times b a then we have minus a d and we have plus s times a d that is equal to zero now let's combine the like terms so this minus b and plus b a cancels as far as a d is concerned it is uh, okay so let's take common terms here so we for b a we have minus t here and then yeah no, and then plus s now as far as a d is concerned we have 2 by 3 t and then we have minus 1 and plus s equals to 0 now you can clearly see that b a and a d they are not parallel right so since they are not parallel this linear combination can be zero only if both these are zeros right so since b a is not parallel to a d right so therefore these coefficients should, should be zero so that means minus t plus s should be equal to zero or we can say t equals to s right now if t equals to s let us substitute that into the other factor which is for a d right, right there so if i substitute t equals to s we get 2 over 3 let's do it so we get 2 over 3 t minus 1 plus instead of s i am writing t right that should be equal to 0 so let's add this up and take one on this side so this implies that 5t over 3 equals to 1 or we get t equals to 3 over 5 right so we get this ratio t as 3 over 5 so what is 1 minus t 2 over 5 correct so t is 3 over 5 and therefore 1 minus t will be 1 minus 3 over 5 which is 2 over 5 right so 1 minus t is 2 over 5 so we get our ratio which is 3 is to 2 right so we get a ratio which is 3 is to 2 so the ratio here is we have taken this ratio as t is to 1 minus t so which is which is equal to let me write down here 3 over 5 is to 2 over 5 or 3 is to 2 right so that becomes the answer so k divides a e into the ratio of 3 is to 2 where a to k let's write write this a k is to k e is equal to 3 is to 2 right so that becomes the answer for this particular question and that is how you can solve it i hope the steps are absolutely clear feel free to write your comment share your views and you can actually look into more videos on similar kinds in the links provided if you like and subscribe to my videos that'd be great thanks for watching and all the best